confidence from the last couple of weeks. Is that true? Yeah, uh, most definitely. Uh, I've been letting it rip out there, just going out there and trusting my instincts and just letting it go. Um, so I've been feeling really comfortable. I've been feeling comfortable with the old line protecting and you know my wideouts are you know getting off the ball and being where they need to be at, and just trusting everything. So I feel like they're going good. When you looked at the tape, what did you like? What did you not like? Uh, I feel like on some drives that we had, a, you know, that we knew we could have scored on, we just have to um, do the little things right. Um, you know, just extend those drives, and uh, I feel like we played good as a, you know, as, a, as an offense. And, uh, you know, we, we just gotta, you know, fix those little things and, uh, you know, and put it in the game, and we gotta just turn it up and uh, execute. What are some of the little things? Eddie said the list went from like 21 to nine this week. Like, what are what's on that list? What I mean, it can, it can it can be you know, um, just little things, just false starts on offense. Uh, you know, little minor things like after a play, if you know some of our guys are getting you know a little too rowdy with the other team, um, we just gotta limit those mistakes. We gotta play hungry, but we can't play um, you know too hungry where we're we're making bad decisions after the play and stuff. So it's just little things like that that we just need to fix, and I feel like it'll um, you know, it'll pay off, and we'll we'll make those drives longer, and, and you know turn them into touchdowns. Coach, just talk about things sort of slowing down for quarterbacks when they get in there for a while. Do you actually feel that physically happening when you're out there? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, everything feels um, natural. It feels like, you know, how it should feel. Um, and like I said a long time ago, it just goes along with, you know, experience. So I feel like I've been, you know, relaxed and just playing. What's the kind of tone been with the team coming out of the Georgia loss? Uh, the same mindset. We're still hungry. Everybody is still working hard. And, you know, we came out here today with the, you know, with the right mindset and ready to get get to work. So, I feel like everybody's hungry, and you know, we're still we're still wanting to win, and we will win. And, you know, we're just gonna, you know, take it day by day and just go out there and get better. When you look at, do you feel like you're a better passer whenever you get rid of the ball quicker, make quicker decisions instead of sitting in a pocket? Uh, I feel like I can sit in the pocket, just if it's like a play action, if we have to, you know, wait for the receivers to get down the field. But I do like, um, you know, the quick routes and just get the ball out and let those guys get in space and make plays. You mentioned earlier in the year how fun it was to hush the crowd of Florida. Um, the chance to do that again, and play you guys have been one since the 80s. Uh, how much of a motivation is that, just trying to hush a crowd like that in a program that doesn't like Kentucky? You guys don't want to be. Uh, I feel like how we play it will just, you know, it'll, it'll do that for the crowd. And, um, you know, we can't be worried about us in the crowd. We just got to go out there and play how we play it. You know, everything else will take care of itself as long as we, you know, do what we're coached to do. What would it mean to have two kind of historic streaks in the same season? Uh, I mean, it'd be great for this university, but we're really not worried about the streaks. We're just worried about going out there and getting our win, um, getting a dub for this team. What, what are the, the things about Tennessee's defense that concern you most? Uh, they got they have some guys up front. I know they're they're pretty young in the, in the secondary, um, but you know they're hungry and you know, they're they're trying to you know get bowl eligible. So they're they're gonna be playing really hard. And you know I guess they don't like Kentucky, so they're gonna be playing really hard against us. But we just gotta worry about what we're gonna do and um, we'll just go have fun and just let it rip. How do you learn about these rivalries when you're a kid from Kansas? Like how does that come to be? Oklahoma. Or I'm sorry, yeah, Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. You were in junior college. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. Um, I mean, it's just the talk I hear around here. Like, everybody's talking about it. And, you know, Coach Inshaw was talking about it today at uh, in our meetings. He was saying that, you know, they, they, they hate Kentucky and they just look at us as another team, as, you know, just to, to beat or whatever. And, um, so I, that's how I feel like I hear about all the little rivalries and stuff like that. Um, it, it's unique just to hear all types of crazy things. <laughs> but, you know, we're just going to go out there and just have fun. That's all. I can't listen to it. Have you heard anything about Louisville yet? <laughs> it gets crazy. Yeah, I, I, I've heard. I mean, I've heard you know the robbery, but I haven't heard any more stories that you know, kind of goes on. So, yeah, we'll worry about that when it gets here. Very good. Thank Appreciate you guys. Thank you.